Romans 8, 31 says, if God is for us, who can be against us? It's a great word, but the truth is many times when you and I face an enemy, when we're facing a challenge, when we're facing a trial, when we hear bad news, we sometimes begin to tremble in our heart. We begin to immediately panic inside and fear inside. Sometimes expect the worst. So we can say, Romans 8, 31, we can quote it, if God is for us, who can be against us? But beloved, how many of you, and I ask myself the same question, how many of us really believe this in such a way that whatever we face in life circumstantially, we're still confident? You see, Jesus said, in the world you're going to have trouble. But he also said, let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Believe in God, believe also in me. You see, Jesus has authority over everything in this material world. And we need to keep clinging to him through those times that in the natural would make us afraid. Remember the disciples on the boat. They were in a dangerous situation. The storm came, the winds came, the waves came. They were in that little boat. Many had lost their lives in the Sea of Galilee during storms. But when the disciples, disciples panicked, what was Jesus' response to them? He rebuked them and he said, where is your faith? So I want to give you a faith challenge. Next time you find yourself in a situation that feels dangerous to you, that you're afraid of, remember Romans 8, 31. If God is for me, who can be against me? Just like the Lord brought the disciples to the other side of the sea, immediately getting them through that perilous storm, so too God is going to get you to the other side of your trial. And not only will he get you to the other side, but you're going to get to the other side, beloved, victorious, having gained something valuable in him as you hung on to your faith through the trial.